New Radio and Sports Network and 105 won the GOAT tonight. El Goma makes the trip north to battle the Gibraltar Vikings, and we are joined right now by the El Goma head coach of the girls' basketball team, Mark Zastro. And, Mark, uh, first of all, uh, how do you like your team where they're at right now as we're just a week away from, less than a week away uh, from those first playoff games next week? Yeah, I'm happy with where they're at. Uh, I think we've come a long ways from the beginning of the season to where we are now. Um, I think we're better offensively. We're definitely better defensively as well. Um, I think we've got a certain edge to us now, a certain toughness that maybe we didn't have at the beginning of the year. We're playing with some uh, better confidence than what we had at the beginning of the year as well. I think uh, they've been practicing hard. They've been competing against each other every day in practice, and I think they've um, proven to themselves that they can play at a high level. Was there a game this season that sticks out to you more than others, maybe, where it, where it comes to maybe that turning point of the season? Yeah, I would say um, we played up at Peshtigal, and it was a very physical game, and I thought that was one of the areas where our team lacked the uh, physical toughness and the men- mental toughness to be able to grind through that. And in that game, it was probably our most physical game, and – um, there was only two fouls called on one team and three on the other point that um, there was no way to get out of it, that they had to handle that and um, do the things that they needed to do to fight through that. And I thought it showed a certain amount of toughness. We ended up losing the game. Um, they had Lund made a couple of nice plays but um, down the stretch, but I thought we toughened up because of that. And uh, obviously you have some great players on your team, Haley Panger, Emily Kirkman among them. But the player I want to ask you about and kind of alluded to that before we came on here is Riley Zimmerman. Uh, Obviously you coach the coach's daughter because it was your daughter when Algoma was really flying high with Zastro on the team. You have Riley Zimmerman, who's the daughter of Corey Zimmerman. And do you like coaching coaches' daughters? Do they bring a little bit something extra to the table when they go out for practices and games? Yeah, I mean, they, they have an understanding of what it takes to um, be an, a, a, a varsity athlete, I guess. Um, they have, they should have, they've been around the game a lot, so usually they have a pretty good understanding of the game. Um, Riley's very athletic. He's probably our most athletic kid. Um, that brings a lot of strength and ability for our team as well. Um, But it is, it's good. It certainly helps to have coaches, kids on your team because they have a pretty good understanding of the sport and what their expectations are. Looking ahead to tonight's game, you're going to be playing at Gibraltar. And and what do you remember from that Gibraltar team that that maybe as you've prepared for this game tonight and maybe you've looked at old tape as well that that you're going to try to keep in mind and, and try to coach up your kids on? Yeah, um, they played a 1-3-1. Uh, and they did a nice job with it. I know they struggled early offensively. They're not going to struggle that much, I don't think, this time. Um, they missed shots that probably they would have made. Um, but against that 1-3-1, one, one, um, we got to find the openings. you got to be able to hit some shots. Um, you got to be able to reshape that zone. Uh, the previous game that they played where they beat Sturgeon Bay, they brought more pressure. I anticipate we'll probably see more of that as well. Um, so we're certainly prepared for that also. But... Um, it's something where when you go up there and you're facing the zone, you got to be able to hit some shots, but you also have to reshape that zone and hit some gaps and be able to put pressure on them in their gaps um, and also get some buckets off the offensive glass, hopefully. Now, you've been coaching girls basketball in the area for a long time. You, you've seen a lot of your contemporaries kind of come and go and seen a lot of turnover uh, among the coaching ranks, not just in the Packerland Conference, but probably even beyond What's been maybe the secret of your staying power at Algoma? Um, for me, it's just a matter of doing it for the right reasons. Um, it's my one way that I can give back to the community. Um, I enjoy being around the kids. They keep me young. Um, I think we've being from Algoma, I think it helps. There's probably a little extra incentive to um, feed the program, have success there. Um, we've had good uh, I've had good support from our administration. The kids have all bought in. Our feeder programs are set up well that our coaches at the lower level teach the stuff that I run. So it helps make sure that um, when the kids come up, they're prepared and we're not starting over once they become freshmen out of the grade school program. So I think all of that plays a part. 
You mentioned that your team helps you keep young. Was there a moment like that that sticks out with you with this team this year? Um, just the enjoyment and the fun. Like for me, uh, being able to get in there once in a while when they're trying to do something and maybe they don't understand what you're trying to explain to them and getting out there and showing them that the old guy can still do it a little bit is kind of fun <laughs> to see the looks on their faces. Like, uh, you expect me to do that type of thing. But yeah, for the most part, it's, uh, you know, we've, we've enjoyed to do a lot of laughing and, you know, and I help, I hold them accountable. I challenge them. Um, but at the same time, there's, certainly plenty of things that happen out of the ordinary or that are rather humorous throughout practices that um, just keep you young and engaged in all that. Coach, we'll fill in the blank here to end things. Algoma beats Gibraltar tonight if your team is able to do what? Control straight line drives and handle the defensive glass. Just as simple as that. Gibraltar will welcome you, Algoma. This evening at 7 o'clock is when our pregame show starts. 7.30 is the opening tip. Coach, as always, we appreciate the time and look forward to maybe catching up with you after the game. Sounds good. Thanks for covering the game. You've been listening to the new Radio Sports Network.